Um, I'm not looking in the viewfinder. Hey guys, <laughs> uh, your girl's back with another video. Um, yes, I am uploading regularly. Finally, um, I found a way to uh, upload regularly. I have not gotten my like you know personal Wi-Fi connection yet, but I will be getting that in the fall. I don't want to have to edit this video as much um, either, so I'm going to try to be quick with this. Um, but this video will basically be about the remainder of the materials that I will be using uh, going forward uh, for the first part, at least for the few first few months, uh, which will be based off of the Logic games and some other resources and assets um, that help to further your success in studying for the LSAT. So first thing uh, is this logic games uh, bible it's the workbook so i picked up that and the actual bible here so these are basically these are essentially the cornerstone of uh you know studying the logic games i also have the lsat prep plus the 2022 version i have the lsat flashcards. I'll probably be using these closer to when I've finished um, all of the sections and then I'll just like, uh, I'll, I'll do a bunch of these drills. And I will post uh, some clips of my last few weeks of gathering things and uh, more info that might help. I uh, will um, add into this video of uh, a study and um, plan that I actually don't need to do myself. I actually, it, uh, it works perfectly with one of the books. So I will add that into this video. All right, hey guys. So I'm um, just at work right now, but I'm kind of starting to really get together all of my uh, organization uh, materials and really organize in like weeks ahead to what I will be studying. I'm gonna be using actually this study schedule now uh, from the LSAT trainer. It's called the 16 week. There's also like different weeks, like shorter weeks. This is the longest one. I think I'm going to actually stretch this out as well. Or just do this one and then add a bit extra time um, for however long more I have for review. And then just keep going over things uh, to, to kind of like um, nail down techniques and everything. I will post a, you know, a link for where to get this. But it basically has your instructions on how to use a study schedule, your actual study schedule, the appendix. And so there's the instructions. You have a list of assignments. There's about the learning, like what, like what you would be doing to learn, uh, drilling. So review, I'm guessing, um, while you're just like practicing like uh, maybe logic games. Um, and just like overall questions. And this is practice tests uh, about the review. But yeah, I'm gonna use uh, this planner, fill it out, you know, weeks ahead, and then uh, each maybe week or yeah, probably each week, then I'll transfer that week into my notepad, my small notepad that um, I will show you guys and uh, write down what I will be doing for each day. And then you also get the assignments by the weeks. And so there's quite a bit. As you could tell, the logic games are at the very beginning. So I think this is a great start, starting point, uh, something more uh, formal um, and well organized at the very beginning. And what is this? This is, oh, this is the drills in detail. So there's like just some practice drills. Yeah. So it's it's pretty, you know, mapped out for you already. Well, my night is getting started on rough start already. I was sitting there like filming for like five minutes straight before I realized I was not recording. Anyway, this is my official like night of just you know going through some logic games and so i just read 
this book, um, I'm on chapter five. I did not work through the games in in here because I just learn better with like actually viewing video and going through the games that way. And so I didn't waste my time on that. Um, I went straight to uh, Can Academy and Can Academy is basically going through all the, uh, the questions um, thoroughly. And so basically there's like three steps um, for the logic games. There's, you're going to be given a scenario with like names of people. Um, and then you're going to be given a set of rules that you have to apply those people and uh, their position. There's two types of, uh, there's two main types of games for logic games. There is order and groupings. And then you're going to be given questions. And so basically I found it pretty easy as soon as I realized that the process of elimination is going to help you tremendous it's, it's basically like your bread and butter for this type of um section on the LSAT is process of elimination there's also different there's so many different ways I'm basically like that's why I'm getting so many different materials for studying also because in these case like especially in the logic games um I've noticed there's a lot of different ways you can do things to keep yourself organized um, and just do things more efficiently. And that's the that's the name of the game, right? And so, I mean, you're timed and it's a standardized, standardized test. So this is basically my game board. The, the crossing, like uh, there's different, uh, like shorthand um, ways of just writing out the letter. These are like the names of the people, like the scenario, the scenario of the names. Um, I crossed out because, you know, they can't be in those places, whatever. So basically, Can Academy is amazing because they're basically giving you your scenario then in rules first, and then you're going to use process of elimination and shorthanded, like, uh, um, what do I call it in here? Oh, right here. Okay, so this is a great tip. So... You're short, uh, to write out your rules um, in shortcuts. So arrows, these symbols, slash, underscores. I'm using a couple of those to help me in this. They're looking at, you know, they're doing things differently, but also it depends on like, if, if it's like a side to side, that's gonna be different because this is, you know, a bottom to top. And also you gotta be careful of like how you're numbering things. It's one uh, from the bottom, and then five is at the top. <laughs> it's a bit confusing, but it's fun. And I've got it, I got it pretty quickly actually once I've learned that process of elimination is, like I said, your bread and butter. And so uh, once you get all that done, it's pretty easy. Like as soon as I got that part done, as soon as I went to the question, I basically like was able to cross all of these out and leave me with uh, letter E in a matter of seconds. And so that's a good indication. <laughs> um, I'm already liking these logic games. They're pretty interesting and fun. Um, and so, yeah, I see how the rest of my night goes. I am in my second hour of studying. I've only uh, given myself three hours of studying tonight. So, um, and then I'm going to end the night off with reading a few news articles to get myself um you know, getting in the habit of kind of like pointing out arguments and um, I guess they're called inferences and um, or not inferences, inferences in this, sorry. Um, but just like pointing out like uh, assumptions and how people talk um, through articles and if there's an argument and if there is like what are the sides of those arguments and all that stuff. So that's why I am using my last hour after studying um, each day to read so I can just get better at reading comprehension and um, uh, logical reason. No, this is logical. This is analytical reasoning, isn't it? Is it? I don't know. No, yeah, this is, a, <laughs> this is analytical reasoning. <laughs> I actually have gotten some folders. I got um a few of them and that five i will have three for three of the sections and then in 
each of them i will like section off things that i'm um that i need to section off to keep things like more organized but this is going to be my main folder to keep track of my schedule i already have a rocket book from one of my semesters in school this is for french i think and so there's just like a lot of um basically i can just like wipe all of this out and reuse it with a reusable pen i have these to help me actually these will work perfect for me because well first of all they're they're colorful um but also i can write a lot of different notes and on just one of these notepads and uh stick it on whatever section that i'm learning um uh and yeah i can just refer back to the notes easily with this and that's the bulk of what i will be using i did order like a small notepad to help keep track of my actual day um like uh, by hour i didn't get that it got lost in the mail so i actually had to reorder that um and then just some reusable pens that like gel pens those are all of my materials that i will be using going forward and there's also one other thing that one other thing that i've um kind of came across this one is the best asset um that you will use other than your actual books Ulsac produced a course um it's a five-week course to prepare new students uh students that you know might want to go into law school already know they're going into law school um to prepare them for the LSAT, to prepare them for the community of being in law school, to prepare you for absolutely everything. It's a five week course. Um, it is, there is live sessions. There's also mock classes. I have already been um, exposed to their first mock class and that was very interesting. I loved it. It was pretty cool. I found myself kind of like catching myself um, being like, well, I feel like they should have did this and like kind of like pondering up like answers of what I would use if I were to be called on for any of that stuff. So it kind of got my brain um, active <laughs> in that sense uh, while I was listening to this mock class. It's all real. This entire course is filled with real students, real professors, um, real admission council uh uh, individuals or people that are on different councils uh, within LSAC, um, councils within different schools. It's amazing. Like it's literally one of the best assets that I've, I could have used. Um, everything is recorded so you can go back and watch absolutely everything. Um, it also gives you physical documents um, to look at like transcripts. It there's, <laughs> I can't even express how helpful this would be for um, someone that is preparing to apply to law school because it is extremely just valuable. Um, it also touches on a lot of things that, um, you know, the black community, uh, you may experience even with the uh, actual LSAT test. Apparently there's a lot of microaggressions within that test. I didn't know that. Um, now I know that from one of the videos within this course, um, they talked about what you could do to kind of get that added, you know, that extra support um, needed for someone that is a first gen, um, first generation university student, even um, a first generation law student um, and a minority, a, you know, a black student. Um, you know, we need that extra support for reasons and they touch on where you can get that support. Um, and it's very, it's not general, but it's, they, they say these, um, they, they answer questions and they, there's like, there's, there's, uh, there's the ability to ask questions in these live sessions as well. So how they answer these questions is, is, uh, is applicable to your specific school. This is, a, I'm, per, I'm pretty sure, based in the United States. You can apply these answers to any school that you are applying to. This is insanely valuable. And um, 
I can be more happy to share this to anyone that might not know of it. What you do is you register for an LSAC account. It is completely free. Um, I'm sure they have advertisement of it. It's called LSAC Law Hub. Um, uh, admission un Unmasked. I will link it below. Um, a direct link for you to sign up. Everything is recorded, like I said. So if you didn't sign up when they first uh, started this course, you can go back and listen um, um, and watch and get all of the materials available to you um, that you may have missed already. So again, uh, I can't be more happy to um, be, you know, fine in all of these different resources um, that may help me in my journey. I'm just excited for this journey. It's going to be a, quite a long one. Not everyone has this amount of time to study for the LSAT, but um, I'm going to take my time. <laughs> I'm going to take my time. I'm going, like, it's, it's just, and it's also fun. So um, to, for, you know, for my situation as a, you know, a single mom. Um, doing the best I could. It's just knowing that um, it's a it's a challenge. I like challenges. Um, I'm going to try to um, uh, make an appointment with the director um, to personally talk to her more about uh, the application process and what I should prepare and just get uh, familiar with um, people a bit more. Um, I mean, I'm not losing out on anything for doing that and uh, it's just going to benefit whoever to kind of get yourself familiar and get other people familiar with your face um, before you actually apply. Uh, and so, yeah, um, I hope to see you guys in my next video. And uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, you know, ask them below and uh, I will, of course, get back to you. Um, but yeah, see you guys. <laughs>